I've recently discovered that Angola has a sand drawing tradition. He is a story about a man who borrowed his neighbor's dog and went hunting. And after hunting all day, they managed to catch a fine goat. The goat was taken back and divided between the neighbor and the man who was the hunter. Yes, I'm going off hunting. But when the neighbor got the uh, meat given, he didn't shave for the dog, only gave him the bones. So next time they went hunting, the dog said, I'll stay here. You go with him. You're the one who has the food to eat. This one is about a rooster and a fox who are both wanting to marry the same princess. And the king, unsure which should marry, decided to ask them both for a sum of money as a deposit. Well, soon a rumour began to spread all over the place that the daughter had died. The rooster cried and cried and cried, but the fox instead asked for his money back. And the king gave the daughter, who is there, not to the fox, but to the rooster. And so another two examples, based on uh, matrices or frames of five by four in this case. This is the bush hen flying in a very erratic light. So long as the numbers don't have any common denominator, they can all be accomplished in one line. So five by four there, and the next one is the lion's stomach. This can be done on a five by four by five grid, this one. Four and five have no common denominator, so it should take only one line, and indeed it does. And that can be expanded up, so that as long as they have no common denominator, this one's an eight by nine of the lion's stomach, and I've altered the crossings so that they can be an actual knot. Thanks to Professor Gerdes of Mozambique for this interesting insight about the shapes of these sand drawings.